Sometimes not even the glamour of the silver screen can cover up personality flaws. We are in serious trouble. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hated actors. Oh yeah, this just keeps getting better and better. For this list, we're looking at those actors and actresses that are notoriously hated on or off the screen, and in some cases, both. We're excluding those that are best known for their celeb status and not their acting chops. So, sorry Paris Hilton, you're just gonna have to be terrible somewhere else. Don't put down that damn camera. Also, we're not saying we hate these actors, but in some cases, we understand why people do. Well, for starters, almost every woman I know thinks I'm an asshole. Number 10, Mel Gibson. I'm surprised you haven't heard about me. You know, I got a bad reputation. I mean, sometimes I just go nuts like now. <laughs> Keeping up with Mel can be exhausting. Oh, I'm too old for this shit. His on-screen persona has been of an unhinged guy who's barely able to keep his crazy in check. <laughs> you think I'm crazy? Yeah. yeah. How are you calling me crazy? crazy? You think yeah. I'm crazy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you want to see crazy? I'll tell you. <laughs> Little did we know he wasn't really acting. And if you get raped by a pack of niggers, it'll be your fault. True or not, it was widely reported that during his arrest for a DUI, Gibson made some pretty horrible comments to the cop, like anti-Semitic comments. Well, as usual, you people have got everything all upside down and turned around and back to front. Hey, everyone makes mistakes, but when you handle those mistakes the way Gibson did, that's when people start to resent you. Some people are like, people are going to welcome you back, and other people are going to be like, he should never come back. Why? Because of what happened before. What happened before? The remarks that were attributed to you. That were attributed to me. Yeah. That I didn't necessarily make. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, and, and uh, yeah, I, I gather you have a, a dog in this fight. Pardon me? You have a dog in this fight? Or are you being impartial? I'm try you tell me, I'm trying to be impartial, I guess. Okay. 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 Well, I'm back. And uh, I hope it works out. And I hope people will graciously accept me back. Number nine, Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm stronger than all this, you know that, right? She's at the same time considered one of Hollywood's most beautiful celebrities and one of its most reviled, at least according to the magazines. Last week, the Star Magazine named her as the number one most hated celebrity everywhere. Little Miss Goody Two Shoes can do anything and is too perfect, which makes a lot of regular folks feel inadequate. That's how it's done, sweetheart. She's a self-proclaimed lifestyle expert with her lifestyle blog, cookbooks, and attitude. Indeed I am. But basically, who wants to listen to some rich celebrity telling them how they should live? I actually don't think that you could tie your shoes without me. The only thing that made Gwyneth kind of sort of cool was her husband. But we all know how that turned out. Will that be all? Number eight, Robert Pattinson. What if I'm not the hero? What if I'm the bad guy? Some people say the reason people have such a hate on for our pats is because they're jealous. Finally found something I'm good at. Of course, by some people, we mean his mom. Others despise Pattinson because of his boring acting and because he ruined vampires for everyone. This is what I am. And still others are tired of his on-again, off-again romance with co-star Kristen Stewart. I just have to endure it. But the biggest cherry on the Sunday is the fact that Pattinson regularly trolls Twilight fans. It was like it was a book that wasn't supposed to be published. Dissing the one group that likes you is not a good idea. I was just convinced that it's like, this woman is mad. She's completely mad, and she's in love with her own fictional creation. Number seven, Tyler Perry. You is funny. You are the next Lenny Bruce. You funny. There are a few reasons floating around as to why people hate this guy, but there's one theme that pops up a lot. Some say Perry recreates negative stereotypes of black Americans. $400 he's getting that girl a month. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start a company for every baby daddy who has been through some trouble with baby mama. I'm gonna call it 1-800-CHOKE-THAT-HO. <laughs> By perpetuating themes like crime or domestic violence in his films and shows, Tyler Perry is basically just saying, yep, this is exactly what we're all like. Fine, then just give me a damn biscuit. Kinda like blackface, only he's actually black. You young folks are so damn disrespectful, you're not gonna disrespect me. And he makes obscene amounts of money doing it too. Uncool, Perry. Uncool. Oh, man. <sighs> Thank you. Number six, Hayden Christensen. You didn't give a shit about anything I did up until now. I'll apologize for everything but today. 
This guy manages to take films with built-in fan bases, with seemingly exciting plots, and somehow shoot them down. We got him, R2. Christensen's acting always gives the impression that he has no prior knowledge of a script or storyline, resulting in dry and boring dialogue. You know I don't like it when you do that. Sorry, Master. But quite frankly, the thing that gets him the most hate is his involvement in the Star Wars prequel series debacle. Excuse me. When he brought his petulant style of acting to one of the most beloved sagas of all time, in the guise of a pre-Dark Side Darth Vader. Well, that's not exactly what I meant. Number 5. Miley Cyrus. I'm gonna go to hell. Originally gaining fame thanks to her dad's achy breaky career. Love you, Daddy. I'm loving you right back, darling. This starlet is known for jumping from the concert stage to the small screen to the big screen. Whether as the bratty Hannah Montana, Well, I know you know who I am. Or as the real-life tongue-wagging Miley. Between the robotic acting and her headline-seeking dancing, it's hard to find a legitimate reason to show this girl any respect. You have no idea. But frankly, we're not sure anyone considers her a role model anymore. I know, I screwed up, I'm sorry, but I can't talk about this now. Oh, and by the way, keep your tongue in your mouth, Miley. Number four, Holly Shore. I'm not a geek. I'm a unique weasel, David. I'm just underrated because I live here in Encino. Imagine a guy tries something that isn't funny, then repeats it for the next 20 years. Yep, that's Polly Shore. Oh, come on. What do you think you're so smart? What do you think you're some rocket scientist? His films are usually based around the idea that he is an idiot, juvenile, and incredibly annoying. Oh, I don't want to be rude or anything, but Miss Warner, you're giving me a semi. And unless you're a teenage boy who time-traveled here from the 90s, you probably hate him for this, as it wears thin in the first few minutes. Try ah! 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 Plus, you've still got his multiple Hollywood movies, hours of stand-up comedy, and countless television interviews you've got to get through, too. I was like, no, babe, I'm the whiz, uh, uh, whiz, uh, uh. Uh, Seriously, makes you want to punch him in the face. Listen, I understand if you're pissed, if you want to talk about it, it's... Why did you do that? Number three, Anne Hathaway. Shut up! This is a bit of a strange one. There's no denying Anne Hathaway can act. Thank you very much. She's got the Oscar for Les Mis to prove it. There was a time when men were kind. But it's the polished and almost too flawless aura Ms. Hathaway projects, coupled with her fake goofy awkward girl image, that makes her somewhat unbearable. She hates me, Nigel. And that's my problem because... And that seemingly fake persona of perfection just seems to creep under the skin of moviegoers. And then I realized how many stupid times a day I use the word I. Number two, Shia LaBeouf. I feel lucky. Remember the holes days? All my life, I seem to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Such simpler times. It's destiny. After moving out of adolescence and into Hollywood, LaBeouf became known for his slightly mediocre acting and progressively worsening attitude. Really? What happened if there's not a damn thing wrong with it, kid, and don't let anybody else tell you any different? You don't remember saying that? As the years have gone by, he has proven to just generally be a disrespectful and egotistical douche. No. No, 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 no! Whether he's appearing at premieres with a paper bag on his head, or ripping off an entire movie script and passing it off as his own. No sacrifice. No victory. Allegedly. Before we start hating on our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, really, fool? Really? <laughs> Stop looking at me, swans! I'm really sorry. This is Hollywood. We don't like liars. I just, um, I wasn't expecting this and, and... I didn't, I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't want to lose my job. I'm really sorry. Wow. Thanks. Um... Well, half the people in this room are mad at me. And... The other half only like me because they think I pushed somebody in front of a bus. Why did you hate me so much when we met? Number one, Kristen Stewart. I plan to confront him and demand to know what his problem was. Some people can't stand her because of her mere association with the Twilight Vampire series. I don't believe that. Others cringe at her rigid, emotionless acting that makes her sound out of breath and constipated. What does that mean? 
and she doesn't even have the taking off your shirt to cover up bad acting thing to fall back on like her co-star Taylor Laftner. Here goes nothing. What the hell are you doing? You don't live in the world you think you do. Jacob, put your clothes on. Stewart doesn't fare much better in real life either. She's known for being utterly terrible in interviews. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were on a platform. And we were also like on a cliff, which gave the illusion of being in a tree, like really like up at the top of the tree, even though we weren't. And for cheating on her on and off screen boyfriend, Robert Pattinson. I'm sorry. Even hardcore Twihards were not impressed with her then. So close. Do you agree with our list? No! What celebrity grinds your gears? For more addictive top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I hate them!